Dan America coming up. Check out his article he wrote on uh, Q103Albany.com, I believe. Did a nice write-up about uh, Open Mike and his comedic career. Here you go. Hello, Trick Shot in Clifton Park! Number one open mic in the area. I always love coming out here, but first let me tell you why I call myself Dan America. I call myself Dan America because my name is Dan and I am from America. I like to spread patriotism wherever I go, and I can think of 50 reasons why America is the greatest country on earth. And tonight, I'm going to give you one, and that's Alabama. Alabama is a reason why America is the greatest country on earth, because in Alabama, apparently they don't like sex toys. You can go to jail for using a sex toy in Alabama, and I really only got a couple things to say about that. Mama always said, a dildo is as a dildo does. Jenny got the anal beads and the police came and said that she had to stay in her room for a little while. She said that they, while she was there, she got the Munch on carpet, but I don't think I ever want to go to jail because I don't know about eating carpet. That's one of the reasons why Alabama is, well, that's one of the reasons why Alabama is one of the 50 reasons America is the greatest country on earth. Second is a little news for you. Recently, a Alabama middle school principal told his students to bring in canned goods, but they weren't having a drive or anything. He wanted the students to put the canned goods on their desks so in case an attacker came in, they could take their canned goods and wing it at the attacker. And I thought this was a great fucking idea. Don't bother going out getting guns, knives, tasers, mace. All you need is a good can of Spam. Yeah. Let it sit around for about a year so the, the, the can kind of like starts to enclose and it looks like the Spam is trying to crawl out. So that way, when you're walking down the street, mugger behind you, reach in, can of Spam, wham! It's going to take the guy a little bit to gather himself because he has to come to the realization that he just got nailed in the head with a can of Spam. So that gives you some time to use your Spam hammer to really beat down the person trying to rob you. Now Spam is my weapon of choice. Of course, the standard canned weapon should be beats, obviously. But if you're a bad shot, don't worry because there's always tuna. Someone's coming at you with a knife or a gun, just boom, 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 tuna. Uh, so you don't need to really spend too much on self-defense. All you need is a good canned good, apparently. And we have Alabama to thank for this. That's enough about Alabama and why America is the greatest country on earth, but I wanted to do a little something special tonight, and I don't know if any of you are familiar with the aristocrat joke. See, you are? Okay. Well, anyone else? Well, the point of the aristocrat joke is to tell a joke that is so dirty and vile and disgusting but that by the end the audience is so grossed out. Now, I don't know if many of you know this, uh, Dave Grohl just uh, celebrated his uh, 46th birthday on the 14th, but over the weekend on the 10th, they had a David Grohl uh, birthday party, and it was kind of like a jam concert. Tenacious D was there, David Lee Roth was there, they all got up and jammed with Dave, and it was a good time, and I thought, this is a cool thing. So I started thinking of my own dream birthday jam concert, and I started to get to think, this is an excuse to get at all the annoying fucks that I hate in music. So I'm going to kind of combine the aristocrat joke with this fantasy jam concert. And let's start it off. I want Justin Bieber there. Why? So we can crucify him. And I'm talking about the fun kind. We're going to crucify him right here, upside down. 
then I want Miley Cyrus there. And what we're going to do with her is we're going to feed her X-Lax laced cake and beer so that she can stand right here and twerk over Beaver. And she's going to be shitting and pissing all over him. And, of course, behind us, we're going to have Guar. Because why not? And we're going to be covering Hallelujah, so that way, because Bieber and Miley still have to sing. And we're going to be covering Hallelujah because I want Bieber to be keeping his mouth open a lot while Miley is over him, twerking and pissing and shitting all over fucking Bieber. Then we're going to take their fans and we're going to pin them right between the stage and the mosh pit. So there's no way out. And I'm not talking about the kids. I'm talking about these bitches in their 30s going on Facebook and trying to argue with people that Justin and Miley's careers are legitimate and that they're actually doing something for music. I run into these people all the time. They say, yeah, say what you want, but think about all they've done for music. What? What have they done for music? What? They don't even write their own goddamn songs! But I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself, so we got Guar back here. And the point of Guar is not only because I'm a big Guar fan, it's because they like to spray fake blood, piss, pus, urine, and slime all over the audience. And we're going to have a mosh pit. And the mosh pit has a point. Because we're going to take Katy Perry... Taylor Swift and Britney Spears and put them in the middle of the mosh pit. And the only people that are going to be there to protect them are going to be One Direction and Nickelback. Now, to accompany Guar to make this just a little bit more faster and hectic while they're covering Hallelujah is Andrew W.K. So that way, Miley is going to really have to move it and, you know, because Andrew W.K. No, like, no, traditionally does the Justin Bieber's going to have a great time. And if you haven't noticed, I'm being nice to Miley because all she has to do is a little twerking and squirting. All right, now, we're also going to get ICP in on this. Not because I like ICP, because in the mosh pit, you're going to have your metalheads moshing, but then we're going to have these juggalos. And juggalos, you know, I'm kind of happy that there's juggalos and juggalettes, because it gives overweight white retards a social group. So we're going to have ICP there because they like to throw Fago in there. And with all the guar props and the Fago, it's going to be a sticky, slippery mosh pit. So One Direction and Nickelback are going to have a really hard time protecting Taylor Swift, Britney Spears, and Katy Perry. Okay, so we got Guar and ICB and Andrew WK doing hallelujah. And here's another thing we're going to do. We are going to put Chris Brown on one side of the pit, and then we're going to put Drake on the other, and then we're going to have Rihanna hanging from a cage above so that they got to fight their way through this slippery, gross mosh pit to get to her. And halfway through Hallelujah, we're going to switch into Freebird. And for Freebird, we're going to get Fish to show up. Now, Fish serves a purpose because Fish heads are going to come around and bring all their drugs, their mushrooms, their LSD, their hash, their pot, and this is going to create a big drug infection crowd so everyone's gonna be really confused and freaking out so that way we're gonna get to see Chris Brown and Drake really try to fight their way through the crowd and you know I'm kind of lenient on Drake just like I am will I am because I feel that those two are a little bit stupid I mean one of will I am's lyrics is I am the future DeLorean doors the DeLorean was, what, made in the 80s? 
So how is the future going to be doors on a car from the past? So he's fucking stupid. I'm glad he tries. So we're going to lay off Will I Am. But anyway, here's the fun part. We're going to get to the really annoying ones right now. I want a balance beam on either side of the stage. And we're going to get Beyonce, Jay-Z, Kanye, and all those another annoying fucks. If I'm missing out on one, it's because I haven't heard of them. It's not worth my time. And the point is, in order for them to get on stage and join the jam, they're going to have to get up on the balance beam while the mosh pit, the fago, the fake blood piss urine, all that shit is going on, and they're going to have to make their way to the stage if they really want to perform. That way, we're going to show everyone just how talented they really are. And there's going to be no auto-tunes and no lip-syncing, so even if they fucking make it up to the stage, they're going to be singing along the free bird like, Ah, I think that's my dream concert. What do you all think? All right, thank you. All right, now, because I, I've been doing something uh, in January, I'm going to leave you off with a little rant that gets me kind of pumped. <laughs> it's January 2015, and a great man once said, Rhodes, where we're going, we don't need roads. That's Back to the Future, of course. And if you look outside right now, what do you see? Roads! Where's my flying car? Where's my goddamn hoverboard? Of course, Nikes come out with shoes with power laces, but I don't want power laces! I want... I want freaking a rejuvenation clinic. I want bionic implants. I don't want plastic surgery in a spray tan. I want a platter of fruit that's gonna come down from the ceiling. I want I want a goddamn hoverboard. Did you see this clip? They apparently inv they invented a hoverboard. It's a board, and when it hovers, it makes a sound like how fun is that? gonna hoverboard around, your nose is gonna bleed and you're gonna get a goddamn migraine. I was lied to and I think that it's all Crispin Glover's fault because if you don't know, Crispin Glover is the actor that played George McFly in the first one. What? Somebody say something about Crispin Glover? Don't worry, I got it covered. So Crispin Glover was the actor that played George McFly. He didn't appear in the next two films because he wanted money. So he got jealous of the success of the second two films so he went back in time and took Gray Sports Almanac. Well, he went to the future, took Gray Sports Almanac. Then he traveled back into the time, made a bunch of bets so that he could sabotage 2015. And then Bill and Ted found out they didn't like it because they are wild stallions. You know, that, that was just great. Right now, you know, I'm on a rock stage and I got to do the wild stallions. Anyway, Bill and Ted, they didn't like it. And Death didn't either because that's cheating. And you can't. You can't cheat death, Crispin Glover! You can't cheat death! And then the Matrix came around because Keanu Reeves was in the Matrix, but Alex Winter wasn't in. What the hell ever happened to Alex Winter? Anyone know? Does anyone even remember poor Alex Winter? The actor that played Bill S. Preston Esquire? No one? Oh man. Poor Alex Winter, you know? And that's why I'm upset about 2015. Uh, well, I haven't been waved off here yet. Does anyone want a good dick joke? Did I hear a yeah? You want a good dick joke? Okay, this is actually from my first stand-up comedy routine. Uh, do we have any uh, big dicks here? Big dick? Okay, now do we have anyone with a big penis? someone this time. Uh, so let me tell you, I'm kind of uh, afraid of having a big dick. I don't mind. Well, you see, I'm Scottish, Irish, and Polish, so my penis is of average size. It started growing because of the Polish part, because it didn't realize I was white. 
And then the Scottish and Irish side kicked in and said, Stop growing! We're white! Get back in there! And then the Polish side said, Well, I can't do a Polish accent. Anyway, I'm glad that I don't have a big dick because I'm always worried that one day I'll wake up with morning wood and have to shit real bad. And then I'll have to run to the bathroom like... <laughs> And I'll look fucking ridiculous. Then I'll get into the bathroom and I won't have time to adjust before I throw down on the throne and I'll end up shitting all over my own dick. It's gonna make me late for work. How do you call in like that? Call up, hey boss, uh, can't come in right now. I'm running late, got shit all over my dick. Boss is gonna say, uh, well, get here as soon as you can and leave your personal life at home. And you don't fucking need that because you got shit all over your dick. Go over to the sink and try to wash it off, but just my luck, my wife will walk in and catch me doing it and be like, uh, then she'll get on the phone to her friends and say, yeah, I think he has some kind of a porcelain fetish because, you know, he, uh, he, he was washing himself off in the sink and I think he's going to finish off in the toilet. Another reason why I don't want this to happen to me is because I'm kind of a germaphobe. I'm liable to get into the shower and start scrubbing it real hard and end up rubbing one out right in my own fucking eye. I don't want that to happen. Then there's this whole thing about, you know, people say that it's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. Well, if you know how to use it, then that implies that it's been used. And a herpy is not a badge of honor. And having a used cock is a lot like having a used car. Whenever you take it out, the person that's going to be getting, well not getting into it, but riding it, yeah, let's go with that, is going to be worried that somebody else is going to recognize that used cock. And you don't want that going around. But to be completely fair, I'm going to talk about uh, the women's private parts for a second here. Now I'm going to explain to you why I don't like Bush. And I'm going to use a fun little metaphor. You see, going down on a chick with a lot of Bush is a lot like going to swim in a lake. You got to dig through the brush to get there, and then when you do, if it smells, nobody's getting wet. I like a shaved area, because then it's a lot like going to the beach. You can see everything. You might recognize something that you've seen before, and then you know it's safe, and you can just dive in. All right. I think that's enough for you all tonight. I hope you enjoyed my American comedy. And if you're asking yourself, what does this have to do with America? What did it not have to do with America? I am dead America. Thank you very much. Trick shot.